Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Rodriguez. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the postdoctoral fellow in public humanities at the University of Maine at Farmington and the assistant director of the New Commons Project. In, in our society, um, I think that we tend to define success by uh, by who has held a prestigious job for a long amount of time. And so when we're thinking about our own careers, um, there is, uh, I think, a sort of automatic thought process that occurs wherein you see yourself as like, my vision of success is that I'm going to be um, in my mid to late 60s at a university where I have been a faculty member for 30 plus years and I'm just like well respected and loved and I can envision my retirement party right and like that's success um, and I think that we need to really challenge that um, because I mean in part because it isn't always something that is economically possible um, but also because that can mean that you're really um, shortchanging yourself, right? Even if that's the kind of career that you envision and that you know that you could enjoy, that means that you're also cutting out a lot of different opportunities for other kinds of careers that you might enjoy. And so even though it goes against pretty much all of our ideological training, when you're on the job market, I would really urge you to envision multiple futures for yourself and really like honor the fact that you could be happy in a variety of these. And so when you're looking to what your life is going to be like 5, 10, 15 years um, into the future, um, I would ask you, I would invite you to think of this as like, not just I'm going to be very happy because I'm going to have this job stability 10 years in the future. Not that job stability is a bad thing. I definitely want it. Um, but just thinking that it's like, well, 10 years in the future, I might be ready to explore this new thing. And it might be within these like safe parameters of this position, but I know that I might be ready to um, challenge myself and imagine a different kind of future for myself. Um, and so I am, so thrilled to have this postdoc and to be an assistant director for the New Commons Project. Um, and at the same time, as I am in this position, I am envisioning three different futures for myself and I am holding them all in equal weight. And I am preparing my CVs, plural, right, for all three of these different positions. Um, two of them in academia, one of them as a faculty member, one of them as administration, and the last one, um, doing something in terms of educational programming with a non-academic humanities-based institution. Um, and I think that once you start thinking about your multiple futures that lie before you, you will also naturally start creating connections that, um, that enable you to see that working toward one future doesn't necessarily mean that taking that action is going to close off the other ones, right? That you can sort of interrelate them. Um, and the way that you choose what those opportunities might be is obviously by following your interests, but I think more importantly, by following your ethics, by deciding like what, really, what do you want your role to be in society? Um, if you want to see yourself as an educator, um, if you want to see yourself as someone who is like there to really hear people out and validate their experiences, right? Whatever your role is as, as a community member, find all of the different possibilities in which you can maximize the kind of joy that you get from that, from that sort of engagement. Um, so that is my advice for the job search is even though it's really hard and it's easy to get overwhelmed by it, to try to find joy in the possibilities that it brings.